Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Text Laws video. I just finished unboxing the new Samsung Galaxy S7 smartphone and now it's time for the bigger brother the S7 Edge and guess with which camera I am recording this video exactly. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S7 smartphone to record this video. So here we go again. It's exactly the same basic model. 32 gigabytes of storage and it's a black version. No silver, no white and no golden version. On the back side we can read again 4G LTE. We got Samsung's own quad core, or octa core, or dual quad core. We got 4 gigabytes of storage of RAM and we got now there's one of the two differences to the S7. We got a 5.5 inch display with the same quad HD resolution. And we got a bigger battery. We got 3600 milliampere hours. Everything else is exactly the same. Same performance, same camera lens, and, and, and. So, European SIM card only. Again, we just open it and come on. And then we open the box and take our first look. Oh, it's a no. Ah, wrong way, wrong way. You didn't see this. <laughs> go back in there. <laughs> you don't open it this way exactly as the other device. You open it this way. So there we go. And at first glance you can see the S7 Edge is way bigger or it's just bigger than the previous or than the other S7. Uh, which I can't now show you besides this S7 Edge because I'm filming this video. But I've already told you this one. So get the S7 Edge out here. And of course we take our first look inside the box. So there we go. We got our SIM card tray opening tool. We got some papers here. Uh, let's get them out. So we got a quick starter guide which explains us uh, where the buttons are and what do they do. How to install the nano SIM card and the micro SD card and how to charge the battery. That's it. No information about the software. And here there's a new one. How to transfer connect uh, content via the USB connector on the go adapter. So we got a USB OTG adapter. Like on the S7, you can use it for example for a flash drive or for <laughs> really they want you to hook up a mouse keyboard with a connect with the cable. Oh man. But I guess the main point for this connector is uh, getting data from your old device to the new Samsung S7 Edge. So that's it on the paper side again with the SIM card tray opening tool. And oh man, still again, we got a black phone. And we what do we get? We get white stuff with our black phone. I don't like it. So we got again our Samsung charger, fast charging. We got uh, 9 volt, 1.67 ampere or 5, no, 6 volt, uh, no, it's 5, 5 volt and 2 ampere. So uh, we got a USB 2 micro USB cable. Yes, no USB C, not even on the edge. And we got this USB micro USB to USB adapter to, I just read it to you, to hook up a USB port, a cable, and maybe even a printer. I don't know. And one thing is left, and these are the, again, or also white headphones, I guess. And they're Again, really stubborn and don't want to come out of the box. Come out here. Oh man. Ah. And there we go. So the box is empty. Let's take a quick look on the on the headphones. We got the Samsung logo on the box and inside we get this again <laughs> white white headphones. Why am I buying a white uh, black? smartphone and getting white cables. So we got Samsung cables and it's this nice combination or I hope it's a nice combination out of normal headphones and in-ears. So you got this tiny rubber thingy sticking into your ear. Uh, of course I will test them. We got our remote with microphone and controls and we got a spare pair of rubber thingy in case you lose the first one or they get dirty or anything. So and now let's take a quick look uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and yes it's called an Edge because the display is curved on both sides and this feels nice. It really feels nice. I did not like the feeling of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or S6 Edge Plus but I really like, I don't know why, the feeling of the S7 Edge is a little bit differently 
and I definitely like this one better. It feels heavier than the S7, it is heavier, but you can really feel the difference and yes, it's also a size difference, but I really like the feeling in my hand of this device. So on the back side we got our new 12 megapixel camera, which stands a little bit out, but which is also protected a little bit around half a millimeter of the surrounding is also protecting the glass surrounding the lens. Uh, on the downside, yes, if you put the device flat on a table, it will move a little bit, it will shake a little bit. But normally if you pr just press the home button, nothing will happen. Uh, and yes, again, we got a home button. You can you can actually push here and it's also a fingerprint scanner. So we got this 5.5 inch display on the front side. We got our five megapixel camera. On the button we got our headphone jack, micro USB, uh, think about, yes it's still micro USB, no USB-C, therefore it's again water and dust proof. We got a microphone and we got our speaker and on top we got another microphone and we got our SIM card slot and it's not only a nano SIM card slot but you can also put in a micro SD card there as well. On the right side we got on an off button and on the left side we got the volume buttons. And now let's see if I can operate them. Uh, with my right hand I can easily reach the on off button on the right side. But I can't reach the volume buttons. No, no, I have to move the device in my hands to be able to press the, on off, the volume buttons. If I use the device with my left hand I can reach the on off button and I even can reach the volume button with my, with my thumb here. This is no problem. So for, as a lefty no problem, as a righty a little bit problematic to use to operate the phone. So really first nice first impression and I, it's a 5.5 inch device and I've got my, Samsung, uh, my iPhone 6s plus uh, close to it. It's also a 5. 0.5 inch device and you can see as on one view the S7 is way smaller than the iPhone in width and in length definitely. Uh, that's not all. I'm also playing around at the moment with the Honor 5X and the Huawei G8 which are also 5 inch 5.5 inch devices and both are again wider and longer than the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So Samsung has really done a great job on getting a 5.5 inch display in a small in a small case on a small smartphone. Definitely a nice thing. If you thought you always wanted a bigger phone but 5.5 inch were too big to handle for you, maybe the S7 Edge is the right device for you. But uh, this is something I will, I'm looking really looking forward to finding out. Uh, as well as performance, battery life, how good is the new camera and 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 do a lot of comparison videos with the device. But this is it for now. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!